Many types of glaucoma can be treated successfully with SLT, but I think first and foremost are the open angle glaucomas. We have the uh, primary open angle glaucoma and we have the secondary open angle glaucomas like pseudo exfoliation glaucoma, pigmentary glaucoma, and the like. All these types of glaucoma will do very well with SLT treatment. Pigmentary glaucoma is a very, very special disease where the trabecular meshwork is loaded with pigment and pigment-laden cells, uh, macrophages, histiocytes, trabecular cells that are containing a lot of pigment. The treatment with SLT, it's called selective laser trabeculoplasty because it is selectively aimed at cells with a lot of pigment. So, with pigmentary glaucoma, the problem is there's a lot of pigment dispersion from the treatment itself. That is why there's a, a higher danger for IOP spikes, intraocular pressure spikes, early on after treatment. So the advice for all of us that are uh, using SLT for pigmentary glaucoma is to turn the knob down on energy and start with very low energy per pass, like 0.3 to 0.4 millijoules as compared to 0 0.8, 0 0.9 per millijoule in, in a regular patient. Be very, very careful. In some cases, maybe even treat 90 degrees, between 90 and 180 degrees, just to make sure that there's no excessive loss of pigment into the anterior chamber and no pressure spike. Also, we do recommend to measure the pressure within half an hour and an hour after treatment and one day after treatment, just to make sure that we do not miss this pressure spike. The definition of secondary glaucoma uh, uh, should uh, be addressed differently uh, because we have to divide it to open angle glaucoma, secondary type of open angle glaucoma versus secondary narrow or closed angle glaucoma. The secondary narrow angle glaucomas do not do so well with SLT. And that's why in many and the majority of those patients, we don't even offer this treatment to those patients. However, the secondary open angle glaucomas, like the pseudo exfoliation glaucoma, the pigmentary glaucoma, and the like, are very, very responsive to SLT, especially the pseudo exfoliative uh, patients. We have a lot of experience with pseudo exfoliation glaucoma, and uh, uh, the results are very, very encouraging. It is, I think it may be considered as the, the subtype of open angle glaucoma which responds best to SLT. Uh, we also had a very, very interesting study done in Israel about pseudo exfoliation glaucoma and their response to SLT. We looked at uh, uh, 67 patients, it was a multi center, three or four center studies and uh, uh, we evaluated the uh, IOP pattern and looked at the efficacy and safety of SLT in those uh, patients with the pseudo exfoliation. And the results were uh, very, very encouraging. Pressure came down from a 26 range uh, preoperatively to about 17 after two years, which is uh, really a huge success, especially in that kind of glaucoma, which is sometimes very, very hard to treat. In general, I think that SLT has the best safety profile for any kind of treatment in ophthalmology. I have treated more than 4,000 patients so far in the last 10 years with SLT, and I cannot recall a single case of major complication in neither of my patients. I had only one case of bleeding of small hyphema inferiorly in two eyes of a lady that I treated, and this was considered like you know, the worst uh, uh, complication. And this, of course, uh, vanished within 24 hours without any sequela. Uh, usually, some patients may complain of a little bit of pain or discomfort, and the claim is, I feel the eye within 24 hours, sometimes 48 hours after treatment. Uh, and there is a little bit of flare and cells inside the anterior chamber because we cause that kind of trabeculitis. This is how the, the, the procedure works. It works biologically by inciting, by triggering uh, some biological processes inside the trabecular meshwork. So there's a spillover from that kind 
of biological response into the anterior chamber in some of the cases. So seeing some cells and some flare and some reddening of the eye in about 60-65% of our patients is not a big deal. And these are the very minor sequelae that we see after SLT. So in summary, the safety profile is very, very close to 100%. It's uh, 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 a very, very elegant and very, very uh, subtle uh, uh, kind of treatment. I call it, we, what we do there is we caress the trabecular meshwork. And to me, when I explain to my patients exactly what this procedure is all about, I say, and I'm, you know, uh, wholeheartedly behind it, it is like a homeopathic laser, if you will, because the energy is so low and the exposure time of three, uh, 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 times 10 to the minus 9 uh, uh, second and uh, there's no time for heat dissipation so there's no traction and there's no necrosis and there's uh, you know no no damage due to heat no cutting effect etc uh, 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 this makes the, uh, the procedure very very safe indeed that is why we offer it as a primary procedure to many of our patients with primary and secondary open-handed glaucoma